August, that was the first Friday of uh, this month, there was somebody on the street. He's called MacB254 Msani. Alikuwa mebeba mabango kubwa, inyelikuwa imeandikwa, she's looking for a sponsor. I don't know sponsoress or something like that. It was big, like it trended Kenya and beyond. Like everybody was amazed by that. And then on 27, that is last Friday, this guy came back again. It was not actually 27th, it was 20th. This guy came again eh, to the streets of Nairobi saying, Bado Sijapata sponsor. So it was like literally, openly, publicly looking for a sponsor or a sponsoress. Yes, twice. We, you can see what was on there, it's in your screens at home. And uh, that is who we call MacB254 Msani. So you can see that uh, people or young people are out, like CC Retainer, they are looking for older people to be in relationship with. And we are in studio with none other than Mark B. Msani254. How are you, sir? Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, introduce yourself. Tell us everything about you that you think we need to know apart from your name. So, me uh, name Mark B254 Msani. That is my stage name. Uh, uh, I do music, I do gengeton because uh, gengeton it, it's a uh, root zaki zimetoka Kenya. And I'm also doing hip hop, nimefanya hip hop uh, from last year. So I mean the uh, drill because uh, hip hop evolves. So yeah, basically I'm just an artist trying to make it in the robust city of Nairobi. Yeah. Okay, we thought that there is a problem somewhere because this is not normal. So we had to bring a professional to help us put in things into perspective. And we have none other than Lona Karumba. Lona Karumba is not your first time in these studios. Yes. In fact, you are like becoming our official psychologist. Eh? Tell people about you, those who are watching you for the first time. Yes, so my name is Lona Karumba. I am a counseling psychologist by profession. I'm also passionate about mental health, so I also deal with cases of mental health and just um, talking about mental health because mental health is something right now, more than ever, it is coming up. So that's what I do, but I'm also a uh, lover of life and just, you know, as they say, psychologist, you fear psychologists, so I'm just a normal being. Do you think this is a mental problem? We'll start from there because you'll say you're passionate about uh, mental issues and all that. Do you think this is a mental problem now, the, the case we have now, we want to solve now? <laughs> you know, mental health is very diverse. Yes. Yeah, and it cuts across very many things, but mm. it depends with the individual. Yeah, mm. and uh, I wouldn't, we wouldn't just, you know, put it out there that this is a mental health issue mm. or mm. this is depression or anxiety. You or need diagnosis. You need to <laughs> yes, diagnose. you need to sit down with the person actually understand who that person is. Yes. Yeah, because we are. Not, it's not doesn't have. You know, um, mental health is not like physical health. Mm. You know, physical health is something you can say. Okay, coronavirus. Yeah, mm. someone is coughing. Someone has a fever. But mental <laughs> health is more deeper it needs more deep analysis and that is why in counseling psychology we even do 10 sessions by the time we ascertain okay this person is we cannot do 10 today but yes. now we will see where we will reach with magbi yes. magbi yeah. ulipata uh, so uh what will you uh, ma, ma, ma sponsors potential sponsorses yeah, uh. mm, but uh, so Pia, it's good to listen to people's advices. Yes. Nika skiza for some time. So nika kwanza nika how, no. how are people advising you? What were so, they telling you? Uh, what wana wana piano advice uko nje. People people have advice, tons and tons of advice. So they are telling me that uh, take charge of your life, neza uza mayai, neza uza miwa. Neza fanya anything. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, so Nikawaskiza, ni uh, so you know, so after some time uh, they stop calling. But uh, situation, situation, you come back the same, same. No, the um, Swahili said that yeah. So yeah. let us get into it one by one. Yeah. 
were the potential sponsoresses calling or people advising or both were calling? Both. Both were calling. Yeah. So what did you do with the sponsoresses who were calling? Uh, so for the time being, kwanza nikaweka pending. So uh, in case any sponsor alikuwa anapiga simu, nilikuwa nawaambia nishapata lakini in real sense nilikuwa kwanza na ngoja to go under the water mm. and uh, see if if uh, maybe nitasaidika another way. Were they telling you that they, they have the qualifications because we saw your qualifications. Yeah. You wanted somebody with big car, big behind. With a big, big, big what the mama himself also had to be big. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So are these callers telling you that we meet this qualification, these specific qualifications? Mm. Uh, so, some are telling me they meet the qualifications. Uh, that is a uh, uh, a less percentage, but uh, a bigger percentage, uh, they say they don't meet their qualifications. They didn't have some uh, some of the big things you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So they are all pending, like water, we pending, bad water. Yeah. Okay. Uh, were also younger girls calling? Were younger girls also calling? Yeah. They also wanted to be in this sponsorship zone. Yeah, others wanted uh, just a relationship. Oh. A normal relationship. Oh. Yeah. So, ni kama unakatiwa. Yeah. Na madame. Yeah. Of all ages. Yeah. Uh, kuna mtu alisema hapa kwa nini, kwa comments. By the way, our our discussion of the day is already in our social media platforms. So, you can slide in at White54 in Twitter or Facebook. Then you leave your comment there. We will read them at the end of this show. So, somebody already asked that, Kama umepata more than one umgawie. Unaza gawa? Uh, sasa kwa hiyo topic, hey. sasa hapo sasa ndo watu wa, watu wa me. Unona, uh, Apart from when you likuwa na piga simu kusema ati unaibisha wanaume, lakini hiyo si kuwaibisha wanaume. Yeah. Hiyo ni confidence, hiyo ni courage. Wezi si mama pale archives, you do such kind of oh, thing. Oh, ilikuwa archives, eh? Yeah. Uh, so, we unairet kama confidence, wengine wanaona ni kama unaibisha wanaume. Yeah. So, umepata wengine pia, wenye wameuliza, wamenye wamesema uwagawia kama ume nyanasema kwa social media. Wengi sana. Oh, so wanaume wanataka? Wanataka. Even you on a G feature. Uh, Lona. Yes. You see the elephant in the room. Men, young men want sponsoresses. Mm. Where is the problem? You know, we are in a very tough situation at this point. And um, actually, funniest thing is right now, even in counseling psychology, we are receiving more men than women mm. going through depression mm. and actually going through thoughts of suicide. Yeah. Okay. So some of these, you know, mental health concerns are not just the women. You know, Kitambo, it used to be women, women are depressed, women are depressed. But right now, more men are coming out. And that for me shows where our country is leading to right now. Mm -hmm. There is a cause for concern, you know, a cause for wondering what are men doing? You know, what do men want or what are men really looking for or what is going through them the, the life of a man so I, I i i had a friend of mine the other day who i was I just wanted to know their life and how according to them from monday to sunday what is what is going through their mind and i realized that there's a lot of pressure for mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. and especially for young men who are trying to get it to make it through life yeah this is a you know a musician who is trying to make it in life so trying to you know, get there, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And of course, most men would want to, actually the men, the bigger percentage of men are acting as the one who says that, you know, una, unaibisha wanaume, mm -hmm. you know? But in actual sense, you find that more men are asking, utanigawia. <laughs> so, you see, there is, there is a thin line there. <laughs> yes. Means, they want, they want it to happen, but what is happening, they want to hide yes. behind his confidence, as yes. he's saying, mm -hmm. because according to him, that is confidence, yeah? So most men are hiding behind that, but there are others who come out and say, unaibisha una wanaume, because according to them, it should be done in secret. In secret. Yeah. So I think it is mental health, as it is defined. You know, mental health is something that comes in from the sense of having to understand your psychological point of view, your mental wellness, and even your physical, even your social being, because this is social. This is wanting to be wanted if there is 
any English like that, mm, yeah? Mm. Wanting to feel that kind of attachment, you know, mm -hmm. someone who cares about you, yeah? We are living in a world where nobody cares about the other person. Mm. These days, I found the other day, someone collapsed in the streets and, you know, we are not as fast as we used to be trying yes. to help. Everyone mm. is like, hey, that could be COVID. Yes. So everyone takes a step COVID back. has complicated everything. It has complicated so much. So people are doing what you call social distancing instead of physical distancing. Mm. So what is happening, the social aspect, we are losing it. Yeah, People are socially distancing themselves. I'm not able to call you, for example, because I'm scared. I don't know, people are thinking even COVID is passed off, over through the phone. So you find the meetings that we used to go through, the normal way of meeting someone, nowadays it's not there because where are we meeting these people? Parties by 10 p.m., Kafi is out. For young men like him, he's in the music career, you know, he's supposed to be maybe out there singing, you know, in clubs, in parties, maybe in, in other gatherings, in meetings, but where are those things? So what is happening? Life has changed. There's a paradigm shift. So people are now tending to now look in another perspective mm. of now, what happens to me socially? I need to be loved. I need to be wanted. I need someone to accept me and tell me yes. Like you can imagine how he felt with all those people, you know, mm. just talking to him. Mm. It needed a bizarre thing to be done. It yes. needed something out of the normal for him to feel, hey, it seems everyone has texted me. It seems people are reaching out. People are texting. Everyone is wanting to look for me. Even ladies want a relationship with him. Mm. So that is the question. Where are we at this it point? It means there are even younger ladies yes. who want to do something like that yeah they wa really want to be in a relationship but they don't have somebody to be or to date or something yeah so it is problem that is cutting across it's yeah. not only men yeah. but you've just spoken science research you've told me that uh, you've talked you've seen life of a, a man from Monday to maybe Sunday yeah. on how they work. And you've also told us that those who visit you nowadays are men. It, as it used to be women more, mm -hmm. but now they are men. Yeah. You are blaming, are you absolutely blaming this on corona pandemic? Not really. Again, corona pandemic, there is an upside of corona pandemic in what I do because people are accepting mental health. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this is the point you realize, wow, okay, life doesn't have to be solved by one person. I can reach out to someone who is a professional who I can speak to and get to understand what, what is happening, you know, what is happening in my life. I'm stressed up. I'm not able to eat well. I'm not able to even take the normal things that I used to love. I used to love golf. Nowadays, when I go to the golf pitch, I don't know how, I can't even stand there for 10 minutes. I get fatigued. I'm drained so what is happening corona yes in as much as it has all the negatives that it has for us we are seeing it as a positive because mental health we are speaking about mental health almost every second of the day there is someone right now speaking about mental health somewhere yeah so it is that i wouldn't blame it on corona but it has been able to bring it up you know it is it has been able to show people that wow mental health is real because okay. you know before it used to be physical health cancer it used to be about diabetes it used to be about so many other things people coming out and talking about it but for mental health you just say okay that's a mother case so let them deal with that but okay. nowadays people are realizing that it doesn't have to be a mother case mm. even i myself could be going through something mental you know it could be stress it could be a post-traumatic stress disorder maybe i was traumatized when i was very young and right now i'm coming up and what i'm liking about now this period is that now men are accepting that it's not only a woman's problem even i myself can get affected you know i, okay. I myself can go and sit somewhere and talk about my issues okay. without having to talk about football or okay. having to talk about money or ladies i can sit down and actually say I'm not okay. Let's get back to Magbi. Magbi, what exactly did you want? Ulikuna takado, ama ulikuna taka relationship, did you want a companion, did you want, what exactly did you go to the streets to seek? So for me, uh, a relationship, uh, I've been in previous relationships, and uh, for me, it's not a problem because uh, me socially, I'm outgoing. <laughs> so the issue is uh, about money. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that is why you are so specific on the kind of car that woman must be yeah. driving. Yeah. Oh, oh, when him sunny, see you. In fact, we'll talk about your sunny yeah, before it's long. To touch us at Uncle Mazako, you have to make a yata my video, see you. But I think Usani is going to pay for it. So Usani is going to pay after you've gone viral. 
after now you've started uh, going to uh, shows, and not only going for shows because I've gone to several shows uh, where I don't pay anything, I have to convince the DJ that uh, I can perform. Mm -hmm. But you see, uh, f for music, Ianze uh, Kukulipa, lazima kwanza you get recognition. So you get, you get recognition so that when, uh, when uh, there's a show and you are the host of the show, uh, people, people will have to come because they know you. Mm. So when, when they come because they know you, they have to pay the tickets. Mm. Yeah, so I music, I perform Blaze, Bio, Ion, Bus, Ukonyeri. So I did so I did it the university. Mm. And it's a free show. You are, did, did you finish? Ask me, Lisa, she will. Oh, but do you know what you Last year, I was in Shida and Pesa. So, Kungoja, I was in the summer, the next semester, I was in the Patapataka Kitu. I was in the fourth year and uh, third year, I was in the summer 4.1. Oh. So, I was in the Ngoje, Mpaka next year. So, I was in the Kayote, What were you studying? Uh, Bachelor of Commerce in Marketing. So you you are uh, like applying one of the marketing skills on you. You are marketing yeah, yeah. yourself to archives, eh? Yeah. Ndi upate pesa? Eh, pesa, unajua pesa, lazima ufanye those are... Nasai, unaniambia umeacha, like you are no longer looking for, you advised not to do that. So, say uko na pesa, vile umenini, vile umefanya hivo, ju umeacha sasa. So it was before, ile after that was on sixth. Mm. Yeah, after uh, so we can move after fifty, but after those two weeks, uh, bills, lazima ulipe bills. So I'm sorry, we can move. Ah, sasa ni mefika at a point that <laughs> other advices zingi ne sasa zinaza pigo na upepo. Lana, yes, she he was looking for money. Yeah, do you think that is what most of them are looking for? You know. Then the, the main reason for human existence yeah. basically yeah. is to work and get money. Yeah. And of course, it reaches a point where you feel, okay, I'm at the end. And let me just um, digress a bit and now get into the lady's perspective. You know, now the, the, the older sponsor. What is it that he's also, she's also looking for? Money. You know? No, absolutely not. She's not oh. looking for money. Mm. For her, she's looking for a sense of, you know, that, you know, it's a woman. Mm. I mean, in another relationship, and three quarters of them actually are married, you know, have children, are moving on with their lives, you know. But what are they actually looking for, you know? And what are, exactly is it that at the back of their minds they are thinking, this is what I want? And, that, and that's why for them, it's very easy to give out this money that they, that they are seeking because according to them, they have received, you know, life is a give and take. I mm. give you something, you take, you take back something. Mm. So for them, they are looking for, you know, there's something that they are looking for isn't it? And that is a question we need to ask ourselves also, because in as much as yes, he is looking for money, you know, who gives out money for free? Would you just give me a thousand shillings for the sake of giving me, isn't it? What am I looking for mm. in return for that? Mm. And that is why for, 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 for right now, especially at this time of life, you find now men are distressed because that money is what you want. You need money. Bills are looking at your, you know, at the at the back of your mind, mm -hmm. like you know, I'm here. What do you do? Actually, there's a meme that was going around of end month. What happens during end month? Yeah, mm. and immediately you're paid just before you, even before you're paid. You know, there's someone already knocking at your door. There's rent. There's school fees. There's I don't know what, and so many things. And he has even stated at some point where he had to drop out of school because again of money. money. You know, so what are we looking for? You understand? In in life, this there are things that we have to look into and understand that this is what it is. It's 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 reality. Yes. Yeah. And we have to understand that we need money. Mm. There is no human being who will come, even a pastor will come and tell you, no, you can live your life with five shillings and ten shillings. Absolutely not. Uraskia, we need to understand that money is needed. You you have said how people are advising him. When you know I'm not saying my yagonga, when you know I'm not saying I'm brush vietu zawatu, things like that. But I think he was not ready for that because my evidence says that on sixth he was on the street mm. saying that an attacker sponsor. Mm. So Labda between that and is is saying that between that and the next time we went on streets was two weeks. And because uh, like is a two weeks in a bill spear like in a in a eight or ten. Are we saying that uh, the contemporary youth are not patient enough with life, ama are not hardworking enough. Is it because of laziness? 
Now, we need to also understand something that this is a, this is a specific period of time. You know, youth are coming out, you know, we are hearing very, you know, bizarre things actually of late that we have been hearing things that maybe we are not understanding what exactly is happening. Now, it is because of also the state of affairs. Look at it even in your family situation, mm -hmm. you know. Kitambo, parents were there, you know, they had time for us. They had time to even look and say, me, I'm here, can we talk and stuff like that. And there used to be that connection. Mm. But nowadays, even our parents themselves are so busy. So what is happening? Yes, there's the laziness and there's the everything that you're talking about, the lack of, you know, being patient that, you know, at some point, I'll get that money that I need. At some point, I'll get the car that he wants his lady to already have. You understand? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we also have to look at it in this perspective where we have to understand that we youth, we, are, we also have to understand that it's a life. It's a process of life. Mm -hmm. Things don't come as easy as we think. People just don't come and say, by the way, you know what? I'm here, so, you know, let me get everything. You know, everything does, does, just doesn't come on a silver platter. And I think for me, personally, I look at even the struggles that my parents have gone through. And even by the time they, my dad is driving at this point, yeah? I mean, he started by walking mm -hmm. on the streets. He started mm -hmm. by, you know, trying to take a matatu here, a motorbike here. But right now he's driving. What mm -hmm. does that tell us? That it will reach there. One yeah. day we'll get there, isn't it? And I, I like the tell, advice. That is what you should tell, Mark B. Yeah. Uh, because <laughs> for, me, no. for me, I, I, I would want to differ from that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are we're in a society uh, that uh, uh, when you compare me to uh, a lady who is uh, the same age uh, as me. Yes. For, 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 me, for me, it will be difficult. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. She's much better. Yeah. So una, una, una pata ya kuamba. So I, um, if you are dating a girl, let's go and it out. Now, if you are in Europe, you can't go and spend just a hundred bob to let them stand out. Yo, 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 yani itaku. Itaku, itaku, itaku angusha. Itachoma. Alafu, ukiangalia kwa DMs zake, ukapata kuna watu na mukatia, kuna watu wako thirty, kuna watu wako thirty five, kuna watu wako forty. Sasa wewe unaweza unaweza shinda ume umefukuzana na msichana for like 3 months. U, ume choka ume list like tuseme budget ya kudate msichana ukiwa uh, in my position sijamaliza shule uh, na hasu uh, unaweza pata una budget ya msichana like 20,000 mm. for 3 months. Mm. Of which uh, akipatana na uh, somebody who has money within one day amepewa 10,000. Mm. Uh, um msichana uh, hata waste time uh, na mimi lakini unajua pia those this tata sponsor eh, so <laughs> so when unatafuta mess. now that the other side au wenye wameacha unatafuta yeah. sasa mama mwenye akona pesa yeah and then another thing uh, another thing na watu wanafaa kuelewa unaona kitambo kulikuwa na hizi traditions sijui uh, a, a lady msichana alikuwa anaolewa the age maybe of 15 ama 16 ama 14 by an older guy mm -hmm. uh, an older man mm -hmm. in the society mm -hmm. Uh, so, ilienda iki change kakwa ni the other way around. Uh, people must fall in love. Mm. So, hata sisi wanaume tuki change kutoka kwa ile ya kitambo venye lazima, uh, you, lazima unge, you, you, have, you had to marry somebody mwenye ako uh, a lower age than you. That was your society. So, you, times are changing. And uh, I, I don't think uh, people should uh, start saying that the society is Arabic. The society is <laughs> evolved. This is how the current youth, all of them yeah. are behaving this way, are reasoning this way. Mm. Uh, majority mm. are reasoning this way. Mm. So it's clear there is a problem that we need to solve. Yeah. And by the way, before even you answer that, there is somebody asking if you have parents. He's called Kevin Nooma. He's asking if you have parents. And if yes, what are they? Uh, have they seen this viral photo that, that went viral, and what is their take on it? So that Lona, you will advise parents after that. Mm -hmm. uh, did Buddha Leona hear your mama? What were Leona? Were Leona? Uh, what did they tell you? Uh, me, well, in Yambia, too, you do what you have to do, but Pia Ujichunge. Wali Kupigi, Ama, now is she now? Ah, to wish now. Oh, Wakushago? Wakushago. Oh, so alikupigia kwa kumbia, do whatever you want to do, but uh, make sure you are safe. Eh, lakini at least uh, ukwe kiafu. Najua na uh, what uh, those uh, parents wana kuanga worried about. Eh. Kitu seme kama ukiingia music, mm. wakuangi worried about uh, maybe the ladies you will get. Wana kuambianga, 
find a lady don't find ladies another thing mother ama shida uki date rika yake sasa obviously unajua kuna mali tafika hata mimi nione but you see when there's, <laughs> there's somebody kwa sahi there's a gospel musician ako happily mali, married na i don't uh, i think mali mimi na advice watu ni tuseme umepata na na a such kind of a woman ama such kind of a man uh, you can go on kama ni love ama whatever you want but is kweni wengi at is is kweni wengi so the, it, what matters to you is number but not age Yeah, age, uh, Don't tell us it. something. We, you can see we have a big problem, a yeah. big problem as a society. Mm. Yeah, you, even parents, I know, to the, our next thing that a parent can tell you that for their two villa unataka, is this parent giving up or something? Mm. I think um, on the issue of, you, you know, just understanding that it's, it's reached a point where For, 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 for him, he's talking of, you know, that love, Imeisha, you know. But what exactly do we, why do we get into a relationship? You know, I think we are losing the meaning of why, what is a relationship? You know, we don't enter a relationship because of money. And as he's saying, you know, that 20,000 you're saving up for a woman, and yet she has maybe, you know, other maybe we, men out there, has a, maybe an older man, has the same men of the same age, you know, so many men. So he's, he's giving up on the fact that he knows that, mini kisha date mschana first i need 20000 second that is by i think by every month or something secondly which he doesn't have secondly again there is that aspect of um, she's not even going to be there for me you know she'll be with other men and that is the fear if you can if you listen to him very critically yeah yes. because of course as psychologists we look into the deeper meaning yes. you know i'm seeing a sense of giving up on relationship yes. on what really is the meaning of love mm. you know and even for parents you know a parent is a parent is is someone who is supposed to love you someone who is supposed to be there for you and just you know accept you for who you are and what what you can do yeah and this is a parent who feels okay now if i for example you know parents are scared nowadays yes, because yes. you find you're talking to your child and they tell you oh by the way you know I, i'm doing this and yes. then you tell them uh, no 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 that's not right and mm. they tell you you know what i've disowned you as a parent oh. i don't care about you anymore so my life is off and me go my own life <laughs> those who are in real trouble are parents yeah, exactly now. Mm. exactly because as a parent like this what is going through the head of the mom for example you know It's what is going through the head of the dad And yeah, like because the, you can imagine the way he was replied, mm, you can sense that there's problem. Yeah. Let's, I think they are dealing with it. They don't want to tell him mm. that we really have problem with that. Yeah. Okay, Magbi, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, so. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? For now, I don't have. But you used to have. Why. You yeah. used to have a girlfriend I used before to this. Have a girlfriend. Mm, then what so, happened? Uh, uh, we've uh, to my date Kidogo. And then nimekuwa ni shida sana kumlipia fare kwa sababu alikuwa nyeri unajua nimekuja Nairobi sijakaa for long. Eh. Uh, yeah, so, oh, in Nairobi. Yeah. So na umefika tu Nairobi hivi na kuenda archives. Hapana. <laughs> na na hasa by the way I'm hustling. Uh, uh, na uza na uza hizi till na pebbles za uh, safari kwa so I'm, I'm a hard working guy. Oh you are a hard working man. Yeah, na wewe pia ni msanii. Mimi ni msanii. So what you want is pesa mingi. Pesa yenye unaweza pay bill nazo hizi kidogo ndogo uko nazo. So what you want from big mamas ni pesa mingi. Yeah so nataka pesa ya kufanya mziki. Uh, unajua nikifanya I know na I know nikifanya hiyo mziki make uh, vitu kama hizo obvious azitaendelea. Does it mean that if you get money from maybe another source then utaachana na mambo hizi za kutafuta sponsor you get enough money from another source to do whatever you want utarudi kwa girlfriend waachana na big mamas absolutely oh yeah. tell us something now. exactly i wanted that question has come because i would have even asked that question yes, yes. because that is a reality Yeah. because that is not the reason why he's entering this relationship not for love not for something you know and as you uh, there's a point where he said you know we also look an, into statements that are said that are left you know mm, like mm. um maybe incomplete and there's a point where he has said you know at some point in tafika nione and then he changed immediately what is that saying that he's also not going into this 100% he's not going into this because it's the right thing he's not going into this because it's what he's feeling he's, he's going into it because of the pressures of the world things that are happening in his life that he's feeling like this is what i need and of course 
because of lack of even, you know, that person who is going to, because this is a time where I feel as a parent, this is a time to come in, to step up and say, I need to help. I need to help my son. Mm. Because right now, if we were to give him money, a lot of money, you know, all this would be, would be, would be, yeah, would be yeah, gone. That's what you are saying. So we, the, 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 there is another, there, there is another option. There's always another option, mm. yeah? And the options are there. You know, there are so many things that nowadays I'm seeing people doing. And sometimes when I meet even men in, in my office who come and tell me, you know, counselor, I've given up on life. I don't have any job nowadays. My wife is w w looking at me and giving me bad eyes because I'm not able to provide for my family. And there's a certain man I saw the other day who was telling me that he wakes up in the morning, wears his, wears his suit, he's not going to work, he lost his job during COVID, and goes somewhere and stands the whole day and sits and you know walks around and 5 p.m. he comes back like a normal man. There are man. so many people like that yes. going to archives, going to yes. Uru Park, going to these social places, exactly. Jivanji. Mm -hmm. They are just there the whole day doing nothing mm -hmm. and they go back to their house. Exactly. Shidani? Shidani kwa sababu the pressure, you know the pressure that has come in that you do at the end of the day you can't tell your wife, you can't open up to your wife, you can't open up to your family that I don't have a job. You know, and sometimes if you talk about it, if you talk about it with your wife, you can try and see how to, to sort it out. Mm. If he was to talk about it maybe with his parents or talk about it with friends, one is that I come up with something and you're another fanya together. Nowadays I hear even men enter chamas where mm. you find you're saving some specific money for a specific purpose mm -hmm. and where you're finding that that is really helping even men nowadays. And in that specific chama, see your football packet nongea, we talk about real life problems. Yeah, and uh, even uh, the, the other day I was talking to my partner and he was telling me he has a specific group where in that group they sit down and they talk about nothing else but about their lives and they go one by one. Kaye, so how are you doing? Mm. How is life? Mm. And you'll see someone saying, oh, me, I'm stressed up. You know, the mm. other day uh, I had an argument with my girlfriend mm. or I had an argument with my wife and they talk about real life problems. This is what they need, a specific point where they can talk because this has come up because he's brave enough to show it out there. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, more than three quarters of the youth are thinking in his perspective. They want money. So how do I get money? What is the easiest way, option? This is the way to go. Magbi, yes or no? Uh, so I was uh, in another interview, uh, mm. it's a Kikuyu interview, mm. although I'm not a Kikuyu. Mm. So Nilienda nikasema shida yangu, so they, they uh, contributed. Mtu akajitokeza akasema atakusote. Yeah, what will contribute? What shall contribute? Uh -huh. So, ni, ni just uh, payment. So, you could do Maria Pili, Ulianda, and you jenga ketan or something. So, you look on two issues up, huh? So, ya kwanza you don't see Nilia much and stuff to sponsor Kwanza. Mm. But, when you when you mention in the lake, in the lake, but when in the lake, Kuangum, social media, see Sana Juna Jopia, as you troll you, although squeezy, Keleza Chura, as you find you on the Kunyo Maj. Yeah, so, uh, Sai nilikuwa na issue ya pia uh, there's a time I recommend alisema ata support msanii kama uko na content unajiwezi enda kwa mtu akupatie support you are an artist and by the way kuna hii poster yako ya last ume ni kama umeblame mtu alafu yeah. wali kuchomea so mimi before hata before niende we started talking with a guy anafanya kazi huko juu nilitoa namba zao kwa website ya hiyo big time entertainment so we are ni namba ya conman kama ni conman maybe a recommend ya nafaa clarify so we've been talking with him from march so kazi nafanya na make sure ni every time i get something natoa mziki nafanya kwa sababu whatever you have chenye ambacho unataka ku achieve in, in life ufai kuwa na excuses so when it comes to music miss nanga excuses if I get money, na fika studio. If I get money, na fika studio. Na pia nafanya video. And you know how expensive it is. Mm. So, nimekua niki mtumia, na mtumia, na mtumia, na mtumia. So, uh, kila wakati na muuliza, how should we go? Na niambia, we ntumia link. Natuma. Na mpigia tena. Uh, zile link ulituma, ni kama sikuona tuma tena. Mm. So, natuma tena. Mm. So, uh, after, after unona sasa, ni kanza kuwa constraint na finances. So mimi nikaamua kwenda uh, IO6 nikaenda pale archives. So after ni after ni trend 
Alini text kwanza alini text 5 in the morning. Huyo jamaa ama Eric? Ah huyo jamaa. Uh -huh. So alini uh, text that utakuja tukufanyie tukufanyie one song. So uh, si nikakuwa So hiyo nika, ilikusaidia. Ah uh, hiyo nikakuwa roho juu. Uh -huh. So nikajua sawa nafanyiwa mziki. So hata kwanza hiyo ni ni issue ya sponsor kwanza nikasema eh Wacha kwanza nisingie kwa this kwa, this kwa stuff sponsor, ya eh? ikuwe ikuita ni ya <laughs> life na na naona light at the end of the tunnel. Oh. So, yeah so after many MB ya tantole ya mziki sasa days na pita naanza kumcall sasa sasa ndo wanaanza kuniambia sasa ameniambia na tantole ya mziki for free. So wanaanza kuniambia sasa ati mziki sio free lazima utatoa pesa. <laughs> so you need to to pay 25,000. 25000 ukiwa kijana utatoa wapi pesa? Hauna ya 25000. Yeah. Tuseme hata tuseme ningekuwa na, nayo. Na sponsor pia hujapata. Na sponsor Ama wamekuja na hujachukua. Yeah, so I, I ni yeye ndili reconsider. So <laughs> So anaanza kusasa kunitisha 25000. Are you saying that you no longer need a sponsor? Sasa hivi kwanza ndo namtaka ile mpaya. Oh, unataka sponsor bado? Eh, na sponsor. sponsor uh, Mark, na... Don't you think you are being a bad influence to youths, to wengine? <laughs> Wenye sasa wana wanakupata sponsor ndio suluhisho sasa. Sikui bad influence. That uh, is this is me. Na mimi nitaambia vijana kama kama unaona pia unaweza fanya hivi, do it. But <laughs> kama unaona ethics zako azikuruhusu, don't. So mimi sasa Wewe unaona tu uko sawa. Mimi niko sawa. Na uj, au regret? I don't. In fact, are you planning to do another one? Yeah. Anza nilikuwa nimeplan nirudi leo. Ah, uli kurudi leo. Wapi sasa? Archives tell us. Archives. Archives ndio base yako. Umeandika hiyo nini? Umeandika hiyo placard. Yeah. Umeichora aje. Sasa umesema so, bado unataka sponsor. Pana. So, na na nataka unajua sasa sijamaliza sija hiyo ya recommend. Eh. So unaona after how many tisha hiyo domain nikamwambia yenye na afford in 10000 eh. juu at least nimechangiwa kidogo. So mimi nikamwambia kama mziki ita itakoma because I still have my music mnaweza nisaidia na marketing. So sasa nikaanza kuzungushwa kuzungushwa nikaanza kule hiyo pesa polepole ikaisha. Hmm. So hiyo from March until August ni, nimekuwa badala waniambie sasa unaona Eric Omondi alipost akisema ati ati uh, I, by uh, force we... ni serikali nipatie kazi yes. alafu unaona sasa nini badala kwanza angeuliza alafu alisema studio zao walifunga unaona kuna mtu ali, alikuwa anasema nitakuchuna alafu anasema mwingine alimwambia ambia serikali akupe kazi i think we pia una need kazi uh, uh, we want your final comments because mm -hmm. our time is much spent fundisha vijana our very final comments in 30 seconds mm -hmm. uh, ufundishe watu first uh, we must understand that mental health is real and stress pressures the need for something the need for validation the need for money the need for everything that you need it start it's between you and i like that he says that ni mimi you know let nobody say that you know because sasa ameenda sasa let us follow you know this is a path that he has chosen to take and he also needs to understand that there is light at the end of the tunnel you know we shouldn't give up it's okay not to be okay but there's always a disclaimer at the end as long as you're not giving up so i think it's an it's a high time for us to look into such issues even even as a country at whole even as societies as people who maybe are out there and can see youth like this who are struggling with a specific aspect of maybe mm. music or something or mm. anything mm. that this is the time to reach out to such people I wish, we had, I wish we had the whole day here because mm. this is interesting but there are pearls to pick from this conversation whether you are young whether you are a parent or whether you are who there's something to learn from this Mark B says he will go back to the street Lona says he should not or parents are confused everything is at confusion but I think the same thing you've learned from this we will make sure that we bring Mark B back to the studio so that maybe we get deep into I know we has learned something from this so at the end of it all we shall have a lasting solution